This is Marianne. She doesn't know where she is. She knows her room lies in front of her. She knows the living room is down the hall. This is her house. But she doesn't know where she is. She's trying to remember something important, something she seems to have forgotten. But, alas, she cannot recall. This was Alice, Marianne's mother. Before having Marianne, Alice was determined not to have children. She felt, being a student of philosophy, that children would only drag her down. Marianne was lucky to be born at all. When Alice found out she was pregnant, she resolved to have another abortion performed. It just so happened that this time, her family could convince her otherwise. And from that point forth, Marianne was to be loved with such intensity and with no reservation. When Alice died, Marianne was approaching her twenties. She found her sitting back upon a chair, as she often did. But this last time, she would not awaken. This house, Alice left her daughter, also enough money in the bank. Thereafter, the world demanded her full attention, and in time, her recollection of things grew faint and indefinite, until she made a pause. What moves me so, she wondered. Something abrupt came sharp and simple to her. She could not see into her past, because without noticing, she managed to rid herself of all light. But there is a particular memory that's forcing its way back into Marianne, so she felt rather inclined to stand still for a moment. Marianne didn't know how to reply. Alice said something soothing to her daughter. For the first time in a while, Marianne heard a friendly voice. This is your father and me. We were happy. Why didn't I die a little child? Marianne wondered. My mother would have closed the little coffin. Would he have forgotten? Yes. Perhaps. Marianne felt at loss increasingly, and her throat tightened a little. What does this mean, then? Why do I feel so bereft, she thought. But Alice, having forever waited for this moment, having planned it in advance, knew exactly how to mend things. When Alice died, the immediacy of the world came tumbling down on Marianne, and she postponed her grief, and eventually, she forgot Alice's death ever took place. Every time she felt a familiar warm liquid in her eyes, she drove her attention elsewhere. But without these memories, without the pain and loss, Marianne is not Marianne. This person is different altogether. It might be that Christopher is Marianne, less one memory, less another. She could be any age or have any name. She began to remember. With a sudden rush of clarity, 
something thundered hollow in her chest, and she suddenly knew herself entire. Oh, yes, Christopher thought. I have had my vision. <laughs> <laughs>